Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. It's time for the annual Christmas gift video. You know what I got for Christmas? I'm um, wearing the appropriate, you know, shirt. <laughs> um, and we will start off with um, something that my mom got me. A brownie skillet Toblerone thing. Mm. And up with a little skillet and a brownie you can eat. It's okay. She also got me, you know, because mums do this. Some clothes. She gets me clothes every year. She also got me a jacket. It's like a springtime jacket because she was, what she said was, tired of watching me wear my winter jacket all, you know, spring, summer, fall. But it's not a winter jacket. <laughs> I don't wear it in the winter. It's not cold enough or not warm enough for the winter. Um, <laughs> and unfortunately, though it was a double XL, um, it was a very um, you know straight, form-fitting type jacket with no give whatsoever, whatsoever, whatsoever. Um, so I mean, well, it fit. As soon as I do this, like, <laughs> the whole, I couldn't raise my arms up past this, like, type thing. Like, um, so she's going to see if she can exchange it or, uh, you know, get a bigger size. I don't think she's going to find a bigger size um, or find something else. In all honesty, it'll probably go back and I won't see anything else. And she keeps getting me clothes at extra larges and stuff like that but honestly an extra large doesn't really fit me I mean some will and some won't so I mean once you wash them they tend to shrink and I have a closet full of the extra larges she buys me um, just sitting there you know practically brand new never worn because um, yeah I don't really fit in an extra large at the moment but such is life. Um, in terms of some of the crazy things that Leslie got me, we got some white fudge covered Oreos. Got some Captain Crunch Treats Crunch Berry. We got some honey baked beans. I've never had honey baked beans. I've had all the other ones, you know, like maple and brown sugar and regular and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then we got these, these Toffee Fee White Chocolate. And oddly enough, a large box of wagon wheels. I don't know why she got this for me. I'm not a big fan of marshmallow. And growing up, I never really liked wagon wheels. I'll eat them now. I don't know, maybe she thought they were like s'mores, because I do eat the, you know, the s'mores and stuff like that with, when we're, you know, doing campfires and such with uh, the kids and, 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 and the likes. And yeah, just like my dad, I end up having to eat a lot of marshmallows. So maybe, maybe that's what she had in mind. I don't know. That's fine. I'll eat it. Huh? She also got me these. Brown Sugar Shreddies Granola. Oh. Maybe see those in a taste test video in the future or something. I don't know. Anything's possible with this stuff. It's all very, very different. Stuff I've never had. Uh, my sister and brother-in-law got me this. I don't know. The El Gringo La Pachanga Cerveza. Is this even made in Mexico? No, it's made in Canada, Ontario. So, I don't know, it's a, a beer of some sort. They also got me this Bluetooth probe. I guess you can use it for um, the oven or the barbecue or anything like that. It gives you the temperature readings and stuff with using a, an app on your phone. Um, 
So that's interesting. And then finally we get into the physical media because they did pick up the 4K release of Bullet Train as well as the Blu-ray release of The Invitation. And because, you know, who knows me better than my better half, Leslie. She got me a whack load of physical media, including Once Upon a Time in Hollywood on Blu-ray. Um, and this was when I, she couldn't believe that I didn't have it. And honestly, I couldn't believe that I didn't have this movie. And I don't think I have it on any format, which is, which is amazing. Um, so she remembered that and picked it up. And that's The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. You gotta own it, man. It's, in terms of thrillers, it's like up near the top. Um... And then we got the Mitchells versus the Machines. Um, I think this was a Netflix uh, original movie. Um, really enjoyed it. I haven't done a Netflix and chill on it just yet. And we got some Doctor Who here. We got the Sylvester McCoy Complete Season 1. The Doctor Who Re Revolution of the Daleks which, as far as I can read, is the Christmas special for one of the early, later seasons. I don't know. And then she picked me up some 4K uh, with The Lost Boys. Now, I may have this on Blu-ray, but for some reason I can't think of it uh, like in my collection. And you know, I, it's got to be in there, right? Like i got to have it at least on DVD. But either way, now I got it on 4K, so I'm good. <laughs> then also got The Northman on 4K. Um, been looking for I really want to check out this movie. Apparently a lot of people have said good things about it, and it's right up my alley. And then finishing it off, we've got the complete series on Blu-ray of The Flintstonians. Yes. Yabba Dabba, do not pass this up. I didn't make that up. It's on the back. So, yeah. All around good, you know, Christmas. Uh, Leslie got some jewelry. Um, and a lot of um, uh, those mini brands. I got her a lot of those mini brands things. And James got her the Disney Store um, set. So, yeah. She's been... Uh, it is funny because she doesn't get as many presents as, you know, like the kids do. So, you know, it's like I told her, it's like, I get the mini brands, because not only do you open it for Christmas and go, hey, I got a mini brand, cool, but then you get to open up the mini brand, so it's like, two presents in one, you get to open it twice. Um, so there's double the fun there. Um, so got a whole bunch of that, and um, yeah, the girls got a few things, and then James, oh my gosh. Yeah, we... He didn't even get everything he was supposed to get this year because we just didn't have space to put it. Um, but, uh, yeah, we Leslie found him a leather reclining chair um, that I managed to fix, and so we gave him that. And we got a one of those you know kitchen sets. Um, I think we got that for free somewhere, so we got that. We just had to clean it up and such. Um, and Leslie bought a couple of extra... Uh, kitchen play sets to go with it, I think. Um, and then lots of cars. He's into the Hot Wheels like crazy. Um, so he got lots of those and got... <laughs> Grandma got him. This remote control Optimus Prime. And he, and he just... He doesn't... I mean, he does sometimes use the remote control, but really what he wants is Daddy or Mummy to use the remote control and chase him around the house with Optimus Prime. What? <laughs> oh, the kid. But yeah, I mean, he... Uh, honestly, between the... I gave him some of my old Hot Wheels. He got some new Hot Wheels. He got some really, really cool um, construction toys that I picked up from, the, from Dollarama 
um, you know, they're the same scale as the other one, like a, as a regular Hot Wheels. Um, and the quality was actually better than I thought it would be. Um, and at the time, they were a little bit more expensive than Hot Wheels. I think they were buck fifty when I bought them, and Hot Wheels were going for about a dollar at Dollarama. Well, Hot Wheels are now two dollars at Dollarama. So, considering I got these for a buck fifty, I saved fifty cents off of a Hot Wheels. If you think about it, does it work that way? I don't think it does. Um, but yeah, uh, and before Christmas, we were trying to track down a book for Sarah. Um, it. She wanted Stephen King's It. Well, we got her a whole bunch of Stephen King, but we couldn't get It. And we were looking everywhere, you know. Couldn't get it. Uh, Amazon, Chapters, you know, all the, the online stores. If you could find it online, it wasn't going to arrive in time for Christmas. Um, we were checking all of the, you know, the um, online, secondhand seller type places. Uh, Kijiji and Craigslist, nothing there. Um... If we did find it, it wasn't in good shape, or it was way too far away. It would have to get shipped and wouldn't get here in time. Um, so we were checking out, you know, the Salvation Armies and the Value Villages. And, and while we were on one trip, I mean, James alone, it's like he had to get one or two or three or four bags of cars every time we hit up one of these dang stores. So he was making out like a bandit just from these trips. But I found um, an old... Well, not super old, not as old as I had when I was a kid, but exact, exactly the same type of thing where it's a, a collapsible case and then you open it up and it's a Hot Wheels like city type thing with an S uh, curve as the, the, you know, a ramp that goes all the way down. Um, and this was a, you know, same type of thing that I had when I was a kid. Of course, this is newer, so it had a few um, extra little things that it could do. It wasn't 100% complete. But it was like 90% complete and fully functional. Um, and to the point where I don't need, I don't want to pick up the other pieces, you know, for him because he, he's using it. Now, if he doesn't manage to, you know, break it or something like that, I may track down a couple of extra pieces just so that it's complete and I could sell it, you know, if it's still in good condition uh, for a decent amount of money. But I paid like four bucks for it. Four bucks. And if I hadn't grabbed it, somebody else would have grabbed it and it would have been you know, listed on eBay or something like that for like a hundred dollars, I'm sure. Um, cause I did look it up and yeah, that's, that's, that's what they were going for, man. Like a hundred plus, um, in worse condition. So, uh, yeah, when I saw it, I was like, wow. And Leslie wasn't quite sure what, <laughs> what I was, why I was so impressed. And I was like, this is like over a hundred dollars online right now. And she's like, Oh, okay. Are you going to get it? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to give it, and, you know, clean it up and give it to James. And it was funny. It, we had such a hard time because I put cars on it, you know, some of my old cars on it. Uh, and um, while we were opening presents, while he was, tr we were on him trying to open presents, he would keep playing cars <laughs> on this thing, right? <coughs> and with the amount of presents we had, it was like, oh my gosh, dude, stop playing with your toys. It'll still be there. Open up a present. You got more stuff coming. So it was quite quite funny um, going through all of that. And, uh, yeah, it was a good, good Christmas all around. Um, just, yeah, good times, good presents. Everybody had a good time. Um, and now the house is a disaster area. It's funny how that works, right? You spend all that time cleaning up only to, within one day, make it worse than it was before. And with the holidays and all that work and all that kind of stuff, nobody has any energy to clean up anymore. Like, honestly, if you saw what was behind the camera right now, what I'm looking at, it's just, it's everywhere. Admittedly, most of it is from James. It's mostly his, his toys and stuff everywhere. But, damn, I'm not looking forward to this. Oh yeah. If it wasn't if it wasn't for you know the smile on everybody's faces while they're opening presents and such like that, it honestly I, I could probably do without Christmas at all. <laughs> it's so much work. I I don't I don't get to enjoy any of it. I don't I really outside of the opening of the presents and even then, I'm so tired. 
Like, literally, I think I, I got to bed at about 5 o'clock in the morning, Christmas night, only to be woken up at about 8, five, seven, between 7 and 8, I think. So, yeah. And it, even, it wasn't even like a complete sleep. I think I woke up twice from, you know, people moving around and going to bathrooms and stuff like that. I literally fell asleep right here because it's like everybody else was asleep. We had locked off the uh, gate at the top of the stairs so James wouldn't wake up and just come downstairs type thing. Um, and so, yeah, it's just like, I was like, uh, I'm just, whatever. When somebody wakes, you know, whenever James wakes up, because I know he's going to be the one who wakes everybody up, I, uh, that's when I'll, I'll, I'll get up. But, oh my gosh, like, I got no sleep. And then you got Christmas Day and then, Christmas nights at my mom's place, and then get home, and it's late, and it, it, yeah, it was like 36 hours almost without sleep, practically. So yeah, I'm 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 beat, man. I am beat, and as you can tell, I've got kind of a cold, which happens anytime I really don't get any rest, um, especially with you know. James going to preschool and Leslie working at preschool the amount of germs that are coming in here but uh, yeah other than that it was a good Christmas I hope all y'all's had a good Christmas time and if you don't celebrate Christmas I hope you had at least a good holiday season and even if you don't you know celebrate Christmas at least you know hopefully you were able to you know if, if, if you are in a Christian country um, hopefully you're able to take uh, part in some of the festivities um, and if you're in a non-Christian country, I mean, there's enough celebrations and stuff going around that hopefully there was something happening this time of year that you could partake in and enjoy. Um, but if not, hey, there was plenty of yummy, yummy physical media to be picked up, man. Lots of sales, lots of good stuff. Um, so yeah, comment down below. Let me know if you got anything of interest that you think I would be like, whoa, that's awesome. Or, whoa, I want it. Or, whoa, give it to me. <laughs> but I do love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Till next video, take care. Have a good one.